All right. All right. I love Thomas. I love Thomas Shelby already. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's just no. It's all strategy by Tommy, bro. It's all strategy. I respect it. You gotta respect it. All right, welcome back to the channel today. We're gonna be watching Kiki Blinders season one, episode two. Now in the last episode, basically the plot is, so we have the entire Peaky Blinders crew, right? Now Thomas, Tommy, Thomas Shelby, our guy, I was corrected on his name. It's not Cillian Murphy, it's Killian Murphy. It's pronounced Killian. Right, so he had his goons, his guys go steal some stuff, but they stole the wrong crate. They must have been drunk, right? And they actually stole a bunch of guns, okay? And now Winston Churchill sent his boy down to come collect these guns, okay? So, okay, there's a dilemma. Now Thomas, though, he got the he got a new strategy, basically. His strategy is he wants to make them pay for the guns back, which I don't really see that going too well, to be honest, for us. I love the ambition, but like, dog, that's, that's gonna get some of us killed, for sure, for sure. But I'm excited to see what happens, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As our early access to the next two episodes of Peaky Blinders will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. I've been busy. I'm riding with the Lee family now. Myself, I'd rather live among pigs. <laughs> when my friend was telling me about the show he didn't spoil anything so don't he said the show is basically just about thomas being like fuck it i have a new strategy <laughs> and that, that made me laugh so hard when he said it too because he said it in like a really good english accent <laughs> and i can just imagine him saying that swapping the family car for a bloody horse of course we're not swapping it bad we're gonna play two up oh mm, my god there's so much the risk I, I don't know how this game works. Two up, I've never heard of this. Tell me, you bloody idiot! Shut up, Arthur, I won. Oh. Oh. I promised Johnny I'd let him have a spin in the car if he lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> you league boys are laughing at my brother. Go and enjoy yourselves at the fair before they start a war. Yeah, but his mouth was a diddy quay whore. Mm, oh, they got a fight now. They're, Thomas is not taking that. He's fighting them. Oh. Oh, he's laughing with the... The hat, they cut him though. Yeah. These Englishmen don't fuck around. <laughs> yeah, you fuck around, you find out. The Lee family just learned that today. We will take them before last night's beer. Every gun, every bullet will be brought to me for inspection. Fuck. <laughs> the, dude, the stickiness on this is gone completely. So like, I had to kind of tape it. And the tape is running out too now, so we're leaving that there for now. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> oh shit! Are you sure, your brothers are at the fair. If it was them, they wouldn't knock. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? The police are rounding up the communists. Hmm. <laughs> the prescription for iron tablets for Ida fucking Shelby. All right, they know she was here. Jesus, it's the Shelby girl. Hey, you've not seen her with me, okay? <sighs> what are you gonna do, Freddy? Hey, I'm gonna have to leave town for a bit. A gentleman would take off his hat, put out his pipe. What a disrespectful dick. So you specials only dare come here when you know the boys are away at the fair. Here you didn't make it to France. Inspector Campbell. This is the holy grail I'm looking for. Something precious, something stolen. Mm -hmm. she, kn she, she knows. Turn the place upside down. Arthur Shelby said you people would help us. We don't know what you've lost. How can we help you find it? But I have found it subsequently that I was speaking to the wrong man. I want to talk to the boss. Yeah, he wants Tommy. Tea rooms. Friday, Thomas. 10 o'clock. And when I say the boss, I mean Thomas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, the girl... Told him Thomas is the mastermind. Thomas is the one who really runs shit. Thomas is the one who thinks. <laughs> yep, and now they're back and they can see all the chaos. The aftermath of everything that happened. They said the Peaky Blinders had cleared out to the fair to let them do it. 
No, I never said nothing to that copper about right. smashing up bloody houses. Spreading lies. Make sure people think we were in on it. Mm -hmm. Smart as copper. You better show people you're still the cocks of the walk. So we both know what they were looking for. You don't read the papers. Rising papers. So let me tell you the odds. I reckon it's three to one there'll be a revolution. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that. No. That cop is betting on it. He's not going to let it rest till he gets those guns back. He knows you're the boss. He mm. wants to meet you. Will you talk to him? Yeah. <laughs> you don't parley when you're on the back foot. We'll strike a blow back first. Damn, Thomas is aggressive and I like it. <laughs> mm, we're going to have this fire. God, you know what you're doing. Can <laughs> shake his hand? There's some things I want you to write down. Mm hmm, so the inspector hears about it? It's not the people around here, but it's loyal to the king. It's the officers. You see, we don't want our beloved king looking down and seeing the things that have been done to us. So we are taking down his pictures. But why are you burning them? We went through hell, our king. These new coppers over from Belfast, breaking into our homes and interfering with our women, we don't think our king would want to see that happening. So we are lighting fires to raise the alarm. I'm an ordinary man. I won gallantry medals at the Somme. Hmm. Inspector Campbell, I hear there's been a bonfire in your city. Mm-hmm. Ah, but I'm afraid it has troubled me. It seems one of his reporters was invited to the fire and mm -hmm. discovered that they were burning pictures of the king. Any newspaper report which may cause embarrassment to his majesty is always referred first and as a matter of routine to the home office. Mm -hmm. I will go down there immediately and there. That yeah, makes the inspector look bad. You most certainly will not make arrests. It will necessarily mention the burning of the king's likeness, Birmingham, for one very specific reason. Are you any nearer to finding those stolen guns? Names are Mr. Thomas Shelby. The report mm. mentions he's a war hero. Mm. Good play by Tommy. Good play. Good play. Makes the inspector look bad for not having control and it can't do anything about it because it'll just bring more embarrassment to the king. Okay. Get the inspector in trouble by Winston Churchill. Nice. Where have you been all day? In bed. IRA are killing our boys. Ten a day. Damn. What? Stand up. Hi, what are you doing? Ada. Oh, is she pregnant? How late are you? One week. Five weeks. Mm. I don't know if you count weekends. I think it's a lack of iron. I got some tablets. But they didn't work. Freddy's blog game is weak. Whose is it? If I tell you, you'll tell them and they'll cut him to pieces. Not if he marries you, they won't. Nah, they, they still might. Will he marry you? I don't know. I don't know where he is. He might marry her. But he'd come back. Yeah, but they all say they'll come back. He's not like that. He's a good... He will come back up, Paul. I know he will. I think he will. Like, he didn't leave because she was pregnant. He left because of the cops were there. You know, he had to leave. I think he'll be back. I think he'll be back. If he doesn't come back, then I think Ada will tell Tommy about it. And then Tommy will go fucking kill him or do something to him. I don't know. Five beasts you got there, Thomas. Yep, it's going to win me my race. Is he worth falling out with the Lee family over? Mm hmm. Hmm. Just Some passing it on. Oh, the whole Lee clan. The guns and now this. Guns are not spoken of. Yeah, we don't talk about that. I don't know what guns you're talking about, actually. It's Thomas Shelby against the old bloody world, right? Mm-hmm. It's his attitude. You have to have that kind of attitude. <laughs> In France, we say. And France used to say it's just a music old band turning up. Oh, <laughs> Horace got scared and he's trying to calm him down. It's just noise. Right? It's just noise. It's just noise. Good boy. <gasps> what the fuck? Why? I'm so sorry, Mr. Shelby. Oh, you did that on purpose. Yeah, she did that to get his attention. Stop him, talk to him. I'm Grace, by the way. <laughs> I know who you are. Yeah, we've already met. I asked if you were a whore. <laughs> You have something to say to me? The other night she came me to the pub when I was singing. 
Papa said singing wasn't allowed. I'd like there to be one night a week when they're singing. I think it would be good for everyone. Saturday nights. Harry was too afraid to ask you, so... But you're not. You sound like one of those rich girls who comes over from Dublin for the races. How do you fancy earning some extra money? To get out a nice dress? I want to take you to the races? Hmm. Yeah, see, they're gonna, they're gonna start liking each other. <laughs> Rudolph Valentino. Get out, all of you. Go on. I said, tell me his fucking name. <laughs> Freddy <laughs> fucking Thorn. Oh! <laughs> your best mate in school, the man who saved your life in France. Go on, cut him. Mm -hmm. Cut him up and chuck him in the cut. She actually told him. Shelby too, you know. Put my fucking film back on. Bro, I wouldn't be able to watch a film after that, like, because you know Freddy's gonna die. Well, he's out of town right now, but like, you know, when Thomas finds him, he's killed him. So it's like, how would you be able to relax and just watch? And you fix this race without the permission of Billy Kimber? Mm. Obviously, didn't teach you well enough. Rule one: you don't punch above your weight. Billy Kimber mm. is there for the tight. You strike when your enemy is weak. It's about Ada. I need to know. Ada wants you to give Freddy this letter. She wants Freddy to know she's having his baby. He deserves an opportunity to do the right thing. I say we give them a chance. You're still full of romance, eh? What do you think Freddy sees in our Ada? It's Freddy's business. No. No, I'll tell you what he sees. Opportunity. Machine guns and rifles and mm. ammunition and some glorious revolution. What is it you really don't like about Freddy? You have no life with a man on the run. You can't see that, you can't see much. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Damn them for what they did to you in France. Tell Ada, Freddy went to America. Oh, Russia. Mm -hmm. The truth is, you would have hit me with that thing if it weren't for the fact that you know I'm right. <laughs> Polly, Freddy, you'll come back. And I did it myself. And he didn't come back. They don't. Why should they? You're a whore. Baby's a bastard, but there's no word for the man who doesn't come back. Yeah, yeah, there is. It's called a piece of shit. <laughs> on your wedding day, you'll have a good man on your arm, and you'll say, Polly, thank you for common sense. Dude, it's a tough situation. Like, <sighs> I feel like they're gonna do it. They're gonna get the abortion. I'm assuming that's what they're referring to, what they're insinuating, but... And Freddy's gonna come back, like he said he would, and then Ada's gonna be super pissed at them because they, her Aunt Polly and Tom, Thomas were like, he's not coming back. And that's gonna start, like, an internal family feud right there. Freddy's gonna be super pissed at Thomas for telling Ada he's not coming back. And, it's, yeah, it's just gonna start a huge conflict right there. Maybe, maybe. But I feel like Thomas really doubled down on it. He obviously doesn't like Freddy, like... They used to be best mates. Freddy saved his life in the war in France. I What happened? Like, I want to know. I'm sure we're going to find out eventually, but, like, I'm very curious to see, like, where their relationship went went bad. I'm a businessman. <laughs> well, if the city is peaceful, business can thrive. So we were on the CM side. Got to sit up for this one. Be on the CM side when I see things like this in the bedroom of a known communist that has your sister's name on it. It was obvious she'd been sleeping in his bed. Yes. Are you also in bed with the communists? How's Tommy going to deflect this? I've already dealt with the situation. Freddy Thorne is at the very top of my list. I'll cross him off. He won't be returning to the city. I'll make him part of our deal. Hmm. What deal? <laughs> yeah, we don't have a deal yet, but... We're gonna have a deal, so I'll throw them in there. You and your specials will leave my businesses alone from now on. You will turn a blind eye to all of my gambling operations. I am planning an expansion. I intend to do business with Billy Kimber. He runs most of the legal trackside betting outside of London. There is men should leave me alone when I make my move. Forgive me, I don't seem to have a pen to write down this rather long list of demands. And what do I get in return? Yeah, what's in it for Campbell? Why should you? I have what you're looking for. Mm. <laughs> Just gonna fucking tell him like that? I have the guns. Oh, fuck. What guns? <sighs> I know it's a 
my game. Wait, oh. wait. <laughs> Carbines, 10,000 rounds of ammunition, all mm -hmm. in a crate, bound for Libya, stolen from the BSA factory proofing base. I think they sent you to Birmingham to get those guns back. Mm-hmm. I have. To me, that hasn't. <laughs> I have left word with men I trust that if I am taken into police custody for whatever reason, mm. those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the Irish Republican Army. Okay, there's your protection, there's your leverage. If I sell them to the IRA, it won't be long before Mr. Churchill finds out. I imagine you got into enough trouble over the burning of the King's photographs. Mm-hmm. That was just a taster. <laughs> your life in the force is over. When I have achieved what I've set out to achieve, I will let you know where to find the guns. You'll be a hero. Probably get a medal. I'm a fair man. It's a fair offer. Do we have a deal? I think he takes it. I need an answer. Mm -hmm. Right now. Very well. But I'd prefer if we don't shake hands on it. Mmm, so you can fuck me, alright. No deal, I'm out of here. Oh, 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 never mind. <laughs> oh, why would I shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country? <sighs> All right. All right. I love Thomas. I love Thomas Shelby already. Quickly just jump to my top 10 favorite characters all time. So quick. Motherfucker's playing chess out here. With that My friend was not lying at all, dude. Jesus. He set that move up with the bonfire. Oh, my. As a taster. He has leverage. If you take me to jail or whatever, my boys will send that shit straight to Liverpool. And then you're really fucked. So you can't do shit to me. I'm protected through that. It's like, damn. Oh, but then he's going to use Grace against fucking Thomas, though. That's going to be his move. I, Grace against him. Thomas Shelby is now the beginning, mm -hmm. the middle, and the end of your mission. I feel like Grace is going to start to like him too much and then she won't be able to finish her mission and then... So what shall I do? You must do everything you can to get close to him. Find out where those guns are hidden. Yeah, so we can just take him by force? Of course, when I say everything, I don't mean. Underestimate me in every way. She'll do whatever it takes. Or, 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 or Tommy is going to find out Grace is working with him. And so he's gonna fucking flip it on her and just fucking finesse her. Oh, that had that. No, I okay. Now I think that's what's gonna happen. Tom, Tommy's gonna develop feelings for her, but and then he's gonna find out she's working with Campbell, and then he's gonna be have to be a cold hearted motherfucker and then just play her super hard, lead her somewhere else. Like he'll find out her motive that she's looking for the guns to report to Campbell, and he's gonna lead her somewhere else. And oh, it's gonna get so good. What, what, what? What was wrong with the horse? Wait, what the f- I don't even know what happened. Kelly, tell me. Custom! Oh. Uh. Tell me, Kelly, what's wrong with your horse? You bought with the fair and bad feeling. The lease put a bad seed in the hoof and got an old woman to put a spell. So those lead bastards cursed it. Spread to the other feet. Mm. It's going to his heart by tomorrow, I say. Damn. Fuck, well, now he doesn't have a horse. I told you, Tommy. Let her enemies to have them black blood gypsies. Damn, well, RIP this horse then. Shit. God damn. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's just gonna no. Oh, that hurts. Uh, I mean, like, I guess if, like, the horse is gonna die anyway, well, like, that's so shit. That's so tough. I guess it's a more painful death to leave a, leave him alive, so. Just give me a drink. As far as I'm concerned, this pub is open 24 hours for me. Came here for company. Hmm. Oh, sorry. He took the night off. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck in the pub. On the bar. He's stressed. She's trying to get close to him. They're doing it. How's your beautiful horse? <laughs> Dead. Just fucking put a hole in his head. I just put a bullet in his head. <laughs> Was he lame? He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Tommy Shelby the wrong way. Mm, just teasing her. In France, I got used to seeing men die. Never got used to seeing horses die. Yeah, that would... Yeah. They die badly. Dude, for me, just watching any animal die is fucking painful. Like on National Geographic, I, fuck, I cannot watch those. Even though it's like another animal getting another animal, I can't. I just, I just can't. You never worked in Dublin. They don't lie to me. 
I asked around about that pub, our friends over there. <laughs> Can't lie to Thomas, bro. My guess is you had a girl from a good family who got herself pregnant. It's not something I want known. And bringing a child into the world alone ruins your life. So I'm right. And Polly is wrong. Mm. Right about what? Doesn't matter. That dudes don't come back. Family business. You won't tell anyone my secret. Do you think I tell people things? No. Only if it's strategic. Which caused me to stray from the land. I feel like it's just gonna cut to them fucking. <laughs> it's just gonna jump cut to him slamming her against the wall or something. Oh, okay. Never mind. That was a cool shot, though. Um, the last shot in that scene. Oh, there he is! Bro, I said he'd be, he's on his way back. You came back? Freddy, Tommy will kill you. It's Tommy who tipped me off. Maybe he's got half a heart after all. He said get out of town. Take her with you. So, Ada Shelby. <gasps> will you marry me? Will you marry me? Uh huh. <laughs> all right, cool, sick. What's the cash though? There has, there has to be a. Ca Not going anywhere, Ada. Uh. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna marry here. Stick I'm not afraid it. of Tommy Shelby. Yeah, stick it to Tommy. Okay, well, this is gonna go terribly, feels like. Tommy took yourself a woman. Coppers. Oh, shit. No. No? It's Billy Kimber. Oh, shit. Is there any man here named Shelby? Never heard of ya. And then I did hear of ya, some little Diddy Kai Razor gang. I thought to myself, so what? But then you fucked me over. Mm hmm So now you have my undivided attention. So he fixed the race on purpose to get Billy Kimber's attention to make him come to the bar and meet him here. And then so now he can strike a deal with him. Smart. Very smart, Thomas. Thomas. But shit like that's probably going to backfire on him later in the future. Like, you can't just keep doing shit like that. They're, someone like Billy Kimber is going to get so fucking mad that he did that. And then they're just going to try and kill him or kill someone in the family. I want to know what you want. You fixed a race without my permission. Mm -hmm. You fucking gypsy scum. He's heated. And you fixed one of them, so I'm gonna have you shot against the post. You can try. Hmm. Look at it. It's from the Lee family. You were also at war with the Lees, Mr. Kimber, am I right? The Lees are attacking your bookies and taking your money. Your men can't control them. You need help. Hmm. Perhaps we should listen to what Mr. Shelby has to say. It would be an honor to work with you, Mr. Kim. Nobody works with me. It will work for me. Pick it up, Pikey. Fuck. This guy's such a dick. Fucking ego through the roof. Tommy's not picking that shit up for you. Tommy offered nicely, dog. You oh. oh, oh, he's doing it. This fucking Mr. Kimber is full of disrespect. Tommy doesn't tolerate that shit. It's for your ceiling. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Kimber. We will be at Cheltenham. As will I. Yeah, Tommy's really fucking good at defusing and negotiations. So you picked a fight with the leagues on purpose. Got for decent air, got mine. We're going to the races. Mm. It's all strategy by Tommy, bro. It's all strategy. I respect it. You gotta respect it. All right, well that was episode two. I think Tommy's gonna bend down to Mr. Kimber as much as he has to so he can manipulate him. Like, Billy Kimber doesn't seem like a guy you can just threaten to get what you want out of him. He's too powerful, he's too aggressive, he's, he's too egotistical. The way Tommy's trying to manipulate Mr. Kimber and Inspector Campbell, two completely different strategies for that. But that shows you Tommy knows how to manipulate based on who he's talking to. He's being very polite and very respectful to him in that scene because he wants to work with him. He wants to get on his good side and everything. But it's all just a strategy as soon as tommy doesn't need mr kimber anymore it'll probably kill him to be honest because this guy i feel like he's too dangerous to keep around you know tommy's gonna get what he wants and it's gonna fuck over mr kimber and then you have to dispose of him or he's gonna try and kill you and your entire family so before before mr kimber realizes that tommy's screwing him over even harder it's probably just gonna kill him and yeah he picked up a fight with the lee family on purpose because he knows kimber is in a conflict with them too so he's like look we're both in a conflict with the lee family we should work together now, so that's gonna persuade Mr. Kimber to work with him. Okay, okay, but Tommy picking a fight with the Lee family put a curse on the horse. So that kind of backfired right there, you know, if this curse is real and stuff. So I feel like Tommy's gonna get too deep in this and he's not gonna be able to get out of it. He's gonna lose track of stuff and then that's where stuff's gonna go downhill, so. 
All right, that was Peaky Blinders episode two. I would say Thomas's new strategy was pretty damn legit. Pretty, pretty damn smart to be honest. It, it's working. It seems like it, he has, he has enough leverage to where he could, he could just tell Campbell, "Yo, I have your guns, dog. So you're gonna agree to this deal, and you're gonna eat a dick. <laughs> like, and you can't do shit to me because as soon as I go, you're not getting guns if you arrest me. So okay, playing chess out here. He's really playing chess. Shit. And then yeah, he's really good at negotiating. He's really good at he's really good at defusing everything. Like defuse that whole situation with Billy Kimber. It's very polite, very respectful to Billy Kimber. But Billy Billy Kimber seems like a you know like a narcissist and like no one works with me. They all work for me or whatever. Like okay, bro. Okay, we're definitely gonna exploit you and take advantage of you and rob you and hit a lick on you. So I I see Tommy just fucking him over. <laughs> so badly just hit a royal lick on him mm, that's gonna feel so good we're gonna be cool with him for now but when the time comes we're going to take advantage of him and like one thing i love too about tommy is when he gets confrontational he's super calm cool and collected about it billy kimber when he was getting confrontational he was getting super loud and obnoxious and it just shows you that tommy has like true confidence in himself that he can really do anything like he'll he'll win this fight right now he doesn't have to boast about it he know he has confidence in himself that he'll win it he doesn't need to project himself to make sure everyone else knows because all he needs to know is that he can do it and then that. billy kimber has to project himself out there in front of everyone to try and intimidate everyone but yeah everything is developing within the show freddie came back i said freddie would come back guys i mean i thought okay well he doesn't know she's pregnant so why would he dip you know there's no reason for him to but I guess he got word of it, so then he came back after he got word. Like, okay. I And I want to know, like, what happened specifically between Tommy and Freddy. Because, you know, they were best mates at one point. Freddy saved him in France in the war. I want to know where this relationship just fucking pff, went downhill. Like, I, I'm sure we're going to find out, like I said. But, like, I'm very curious to know now. Why does... Tommy not like Freddy like what did Freddy do to piss him off this bad like he must have just had to he must have just like fucked him over something like something no one else knows about only Tommy knows about whatever happened has to just be between Tommy and Freddy like because I mean like Ada was like yo he was your best friend at one point he saved you like why do you hate him you know like like Ada doesn't know it seems like Aunt Polly doesn't know it seems like no one else knows why it's just Tommy kept it to himself so I cannot wait till we find out but yeah with Grace okay so I think a couple things could happen with that. I, th but I'm really leaning towards Tommy's gonna find out her motives. He's gonna go along with it for a little bit, but he's gonna lead her into a trap, and just completely fuck her and just and just throw her off so hard where the guns are in it. He's gonna have to make a super cold-hearted decision, and it will probably get her killed. But dude, I feel like Tommy's just a cold-hearted fuck, and it's gonna happen when he develops strong feelings for Grace. It's gonna hurt him a lot, but hey him against the world he he'll do what he has to do to stay ahead so so i feel like something like that's gonna happen but yeah he he's kind of like little finger from game of thrones where he just steps ahead. he just he just steps ahead of everyone like he knows he sees the bigger picture he knows what he wants to do and he knows how to manipulate make things go his way but i definitely could see him making a wrong move like calculate making a wrong calculation and then just and then fucking himself over too because maybe he doesn't think something through all the way with grace maybe his his judgment is clouded by his feelings for her or something like that i don't know but anyways i cannot wait to see what happens next so comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching